I like this, and I like that. I like this, and I like that. But I like that about that. But I like that about that. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, 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 ready? Yeah. When? When do we go? It's already recording. Okay. One, one, two, three. three. When, when you, you want to get crazy. crazy. <laughs> that's already crazy. Stop, stop. <laughs> okay, let's start again. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, wait. Right. This is great stuff. Eh? You're giving wait. me a laugh track that I can use. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. When, when you want to get crazy, but you're already crazy, where do you go? The JB Web Show. <laughs> when you want to cut loose, but you're already loose. Where do you go? I don't know. The JB Web Show. That's just stupid. When you want to get crazy, but you're already crazy, where do you go? JB, JB Web Show. When you want to cut loose, but you're already loose, where do you go? JB Web Show. Yeah. Someone's got to get crazy, <laughs> so it'll drop you off at the JB Web Show. That's, that's not how it works. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Professionalism at its finest. When, when you want to get crazy, but you're already crazy, where do you go? The JB Web Show, if you want to get loose, but you're already loose, where do you go? The JB Web Show, when you're in doubt, you don't know who you are. Wherever you go, there you are. If you want to get crazy, you want to get you get already crazy. Easy. Where do you go? JB Web Show! Medication not included. Did radio. Radio. And now it's time for John Crimus in the morning. <laughs> All right, over to our commercial. Do you like meat and potatoes and having your children be used to make electricity? Well, Vote for me this election season. I'm Smith Smith. I don't know why my parents named me Smith when our last name was Smith, but I'll be on the ballot, Smith Smith, so this December, look for me. Paid for by the people who beat up Smith Smith in high school for Congress. Breaking news on the John Crimus Show. People are actually still listening to this program. And that's your update. Weather outside looks uh, stormy, but uh, it's clear where we're at and over where you're at, there's probably some fuzziness. So, everybody, hope you have a nice little warm fuzzy and we'll see you around. <laughs> okay. Okay. Laughing on the radio gets laughs at home. Remember that. Hey, uh, do you like vegetables and uh, using your children to make electricity? Well, my name is George Jetson. I know, I know, it's silly. <laughs> Why would my parents do that to me? I mean, I was born in the... Uh, uh, vote for me, I'll be on the ballot, and I'll help uh, with all the things you want to do. So whatever you want to do, I'll make it happen, just vote for me. Thank you. Uh, not Smith Smith, paid for by the party to elect George Jetson in the future. A problem. Hey, my name is Jerry Attrick, and I invented a new kind of pudding. So I think you should try it. It's not, it's for everyone of all ages. I get this all the time, but it's for everyone. Please try my geriatric pudding. Sponsored by Geriatric Pudding. Geriatric Pudding. Thanks for tuning in this week, uh, Dead Radio, Dead Radio. Uh, we'll be back soon, maybe. Mm, I'm your ghost host. W -coo -coo -coo. 1000 Dead Radio Dead Radio Coming back to life Dead Radio Dead Radio Is coming back to life This artist interview is sponsored by ArtArmy.org. Find Orlando or Tallahassee Art Army on Facebook or ArtArmy.org.
Welcome back. It's been a long time. JB Web Show's back. Thank you, Sinead O'Connor. Welcome back to the JB Web Show. I am JB Webb, and uh, I have on the phone with me an author, an artist. Her name is Beth Ziegler. And uh, let me lower down the background there. Beth, are you on the line with us? I am. Good morning. Great. Good morning. Thanks for uh, being on the JB Web Show. You're welcome. So uh, I wanted to talk with you uh, because you got a lot of cool things happening, happened, and about to happen. <laughs> so um, you are an artist. You're an Orlando-based artist. And you've also put together a book with some other photographers. So, yeah. Um. Let's first start with the book. The book is called The Photo with Intentions Left Blank. Um, you can buy it on Amazon and BarnesandNoble.com. We also have a Facebook page. Um, it's a collaboration of eight artists' city photos from all over the world, from Nepal to Greece to China to our local Florida. Um, awesome. Landscape, still life, people. There's just some amazing photos. I so mean, this, yeah. I actually can't even talk about them they're so well, amazing it sounds amazing so everybody's kind of contributed from all across the country and wherever they've been in their travels or or what have you and that's that's an awesome concept so you've got a big event coming up uh november 5th out at uh yeah, no, will's pub yeah november 5th will's pub uh, a good friend of mine is coming up with all the music and all the bands and it's gonna be a very raw low-key event um will's has a great beer selection we're yeah. gonna have a table set up with the books um, some other uh, book merchandise that will be available. We're going to have some live painting and hopefully a collaboration of the community campus. So whoever jumps in comes to the event can actually go in and finger paint. Awesome. Okay, well, that'll be... want to do. That yeah. sounds really fun. I know uh, myself and some others that would just really enjoy that. Um, but uh, so where, where, does your, where does your genesis come from uh, for art? I mean, I know that uh, we both have an eye for aesthetics and we, we enjoy uh, visual arts. Would you say you kind of started in visual arts or, or were you more a pen and paper type of person? Or how did you start to get involved with art? Definitely not a pen and paper. I think it was probably when I, when I was a kid. I actually did like to draw a lot as a kid. I can't yeah. stand to draw now. But um, <laughs> I used to throw a lot of stuff in the woods. And okay. I think it was more of just my mechanical sense growing up that I had, I guess, acquired. And yeah. I don't know, I just kind of turned into art. It was like I went to college for my education, did not want to work in the school system. So that's why I had a great job here at Bloomin' Group. Awesome. And, um, Oh, that's so, awesome. Yeah, I just, I like, yeah, I just, I like to dabble in paint, dabble in a little bit of everything. Well. I don't have one medium. Well, I, I, I think it's awesome you've uh, uh, agreed to talk with us on the JB Web Show. We've relaunched, so you're a part of our first episode, and we're so happy that Beth Ziegler is uh, 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 agreed to be on our show. You've shared a little bit of information with, with us, which I think is insightful, but the big thrust of, of this call, and what I think is very impressive, and kudos to you, You've, you've accomplished publishing, getting a book out there, available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, but the big event uh, will involve people being able to go and see a local Orlando creative individual and uh, uh, get involved in something you have going on. So I want to encourage everybody who's listening to get out there November 5th to Wills and check out this live event, pick up the book, Beth Ziegler, we've got a lot of local talent here. More on tap to come. Beth, thanks so much for being on the show. Thanks, Joe. Have a great day. And uh, I hope you have a beautiful afternoon. Thank you, and we'll check you out November 5th at Will's. Awesome. Thank you. So that's Amazon or Barnes & Noble to purchase the book online or just come out to the event November 5th at Will's Pub here in beautiful Orlando, Florida. <laughs> This week it's uh, Squiggle, so the game we used to play is uh, Squiggle. You make a squiggle, and then you have to make um, something out of the squiggle, so that's a little guy. Uh, 
Anderson. 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 Ander
Um, that's actually going to be the erotic bliss party. There's a lot of fun things going on that night. There's going to be some <laughs> erotic poetry reading and body painting and tarot cards. And we'll be painting live there as oh, well. Oh, cool. And um, okay. our art will be displayed for uh, the entire month of October and November. Cool. And we'll be wrapping up there. Um, that party is going to be from 8 to 11. And then from there, we're actually having an after-hours party at the Peacock Room. Okay, cool. So it should be a really fun night. So what night is that, October? That'd be Saturday, October 2nd. Saturday, October 2nd. Okay, that's coming up quick. So Saturday, October 2nd, Blissful Lotus. Your artwork is going to be showcased at that uh, uh, store for the whole month, but this is kind of the kickoff party. Yes, exactly. This will okay. be the opening. It's actually going to be uh, showing for October and November. Oh, cool. Okay. All right, great. And, um, yeah, we're calling the collection Divine Beauty, so it's going to be more of the uh, sensual art that we have. Ah, interesting. I know uh, many people watch it, uh, enjoy the show will enjoy that. Uh, so uh, we've been chatting on the phone with Divine Chi. Unfortunately, uh, we got to wrap it up because we have a new format. We're proud to release episode one, and we thank you for watching. And stay tuned for more Orlando creative individuals coming up in the future. Be sure to check out Divine Chi on Facebook, uh, DivineChiShirts.com. Thanks for tuning into the JB Web Show. Goodbye, Divine Chi. Hey, baby. Ha, ha, ha.